Don't you guys don't you guys have any housewives gossip for me? Oh. <laughs> I may live in Seattle, but I always have a sunny disposition. I know exactly who my friends are. They're all named Benjamin. I'm the show from the Bronx, and I'm far from a real housewife. I'm Eric, and I have a dog. Hey everybody and welcome to our week 5 recap of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills along with Atlanta and Miami and the Shaws of Sunset. I think that's what it's called. Don't watch it. I'm Eric Curdo from Your Reality Recap or you can find me at Reality Recaps over on Twitter. Hi, it's Jeffrey Marks. Uh, happy December. I'm here in Brooklyn and you can find me on Twitter at Jeff Marks the Spot. Hey, I'm Michelle from the Bronx. You can find me at You Got Bronx on Twitter. Ha ha ha, boop, it's me, John Richardson, a comedian from Seattle. I didn't record an intro this week, but Eric will do the voiceover, and you can follow me on Twitter at Comedy Jonah. All right, so what are we all thinking of last night's, or probably two nights ago, uh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? We picked up where we left off at Someone's the dinner. Still crying. Still crying. Still crying. I don't think, I don't think Adrian had a intention to sound inappropriate, but I can see where Brandy was quick to jump on that because she really jump, Brandy, jump. <laughs> she did see it, you know, instead of the wording of somebody's crying, I would be like, Oh, are you okay? But like Brandy and Kim were having a moment and it was really theirs. And Adrian didn't really need to say anything. You know, she was sitting at the other end of the table and she didn't have to do it in the manner which she did. Although I don't think her intention was to be rude. So she <laughs> should shut the fuck up. Yeah, I was just going to say, what was yeah. the title of the episode? It should be called Shut the Fuck Up. And <laughs> oh, girls dropping the F-bomb in Beverly Hills because the calculations were, I think, about uh, 35 by the mm -hmm. time we were all said and done. And I think Lisa Vanderpump had the most F-bombs going. And it doesn't sound like an F-bomb when she says it. <laughs> it it sounds pretty when she says it. Oh, I'd but love no. for her to say shut I up to me i would have a <laughs> over it i want it as my ringtone um i absolutely agree with jeffrey i mean they were having a moment adrian i don't know what the hell's up with her and her tattooed um, beauty mark whatever but you know Erica's brandy is so quick to just jump all over it and you know she's not a really great communicator that brandy and i just kind of you know, questions. I don't know why her marriage didn't work. If that's what she's <laughs> jumping on. Uh, uh, you know what? I, I really think that her jumping is all of the good instincts that she has. I don't think that there's anything wrong with her. Maybe because that's what I do. But, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <thank you. laughs> like, fuck, what the fuck? It's great oh. instincts if you're a jaguar but in the forest hunting something. And I just about that dinner, I just want to throw in, I loved the uh, Brandy, I read a book, if anybody cares. And then a, and then Adrian being the one-upper this season, I read, I read a book too. I read, I read a book too. She was one-upping everybody the whole dinner. You're right. I didn't look at it that way. Yes, yeah, she is the one-upper this season. Well, she yeah. is too. And I think that she was being sarcastic. So it's like, okay, when Brandy apologized and Adrian's like, listen, I wasn't trying to start anything. Yeah, you accepted the apology, and then you started something. Hello, Adrian. Contradict <laughs> much? Adrian right? is the is the what's her face of New York, the um, countess. The countess. countess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is mm -hmm. Adrian gonna sing next? <laughs> I hope not. Oh yeah, that would be awful, right? A maloof she, hoof on on maloof. stage. <laughs> she has a venue for it. She's gonna do it. Does it. isn't it the Kings? <laughs> The, Stadium. Well, she's gonna pop. do a dance too. Then she'll not only do gangman style. Is it gangman, gang, hang, gang, gang them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that song came out over the summer and became a huge phenomenon while I was in the Matrix doing the TV show. And I am deciding with that song, I'm pretending Gangnam Style doesn't exist. It never <laughs> happened. It's not part of my pop culture reference. It's in that dark hole of nothing in my my right. opinion. <laughs> so you got Tardy for the party, you have uh, Luann's stuff, and then we'll, what we're on hold for Adrian's stuff. 
We oh, can go. Geez, that's so scary. <laughs> yeah, well, not as scary as you being in Yolanda's basement last week. Oh, you know, I gotta, I, I gotta say, for an evil vampire, she was very kind. And she, you know, she let me have a cell phone service. She let me watch TV with cable. She just didn't let me have internet. So I'm happy to be back <laughs> this week in my own home. Uh, and so kudos to Yolanda. Thank you for taking care of me for a full week in your basement. It's no but fun unless you call her Yolanda, Jeffrey. I love when you call her Yolanda. <laughs> Uh, it's like a it's like a funky turn on the highway, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and speaking of Yolanda, she doesn't like the other girls drinking. She just, she wants no part of it. I don't know what show she signed up for, but she wants no part of the drinking. She's going to bed early. <laughs> as we as we all should just <sighs> take a sip of whatever it is we're indulging with at the moment. Yeah, when she said that she wants to go. What's uh, a, a drunk woman is not classy. Ding, ding. Obviously, you didn't see anything at, that Bravo put out as far as housewives go. Because they're always a bunch of drunks. I mean, drink ears. I think she's going to be the new countess because she's a step above everyone else. And, you know, my biggest fear, Jeffrey, when you were in the basement locked, I thought, oh, my God, she's you're not drink. You're going to have to wake up early. You're going to have to go on hikes with her. I thought, oh, my God, Jeffrey's being tortured. It was rough. She she did make me color coordinate all her vegetables. So, <laughs> you know, right in between all that, they had this whole boring part of where they were playing badminton, lesbian thing, and none of them could hit it. Uh, I thought it was awesome to segue to a boring dinner and then to drinks where they all just wound up doing gymnastics and flips with showing their ass. And of course, Brandy taking a thong and handing it to Adrian and saying, it's clean because I smelt it. It's disgusting. Oh, uh, Michelle, is is that what women do? Is that what you know? Cause, I mean, with my friends, you know, I, when I role play in the bedroom, I do that. But just in general, socially, when I hand, I don't hand underwear. Is that is that a lady thing? I'm usually just taking them off. I'm not busy. To, I don't have the time so, to sniff. But God, God, tell you, I have a problem saying that I would. Saying no to that, it wouldn't be right. a oh, woman, I- lesbian thing. <laughs> Don't worry, Michelle. I have your back. I, you know, John, I, you, you have a different take on this. But, Michelle, I agree. When I have my friends over for, like, a game night or something, we just greet each other with blowjobs and then start playing Monopoly. So I understand the panty passing. Absolutely. <laughs> Are you in Brooklyn, Jeffrey? Is, is that I, the next party? I is? am. Okay. I am in Brooklyn. I love board games. I love it. <laughs> Code. And another thing, too, I mean, everyone was supposed to come together for the the weekend of nurturing relationships, yet in Kim's one-off, she goes, you know, did it did it mend the relationship with me and Kyle? No. <laughs> what is it going to take? My God, well, you're sober now. You're the, oh, it's a nurturing weekend and still didn't work. What? You know, Kyle likes to toss it up a little bit here and there. And that's not toss salad code. That's just tossing it up. Um, I just think that with Yolanda, <laughs> I think that with Yolanda being there, um, it, it does take, it does take away Kim, uh, Kyle's responsibility that she puts on herself for Kim, but she's also going to separate Kyle from Kim even more. So I think that there's a twofold issues with Yolanda and she better either start hitting the bottle or running for cover. I, I just, I don't know. I thought, I, I just think the whole trip was a little lackluster. You know, when the 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 chef came and prepared a meal and, and that was really lovely to see, but I felt like they took the housewives and made them go to top chef in order to like spice it up a little bit. The chef was the most exciting part of that. One of the mini dinners that they had, right? Yeah. You know who I hated though was the sommelier. I thought the sommelier yeah. was such a stinky douche. Uh, he was drinking <laughs> that bottle and usually to be fair, most sommeliers are, I think that's part of the job requirement, but I just, uh, he creeped me out. I did not like him at all, but I love wine. Yay. I, I like know. sniffing markers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any wine, so. <laughs> but as soon as you say, shut the F up, then Lisa is absolutely right. It gives yeah. everyone else the opportunity to use that as 
uh, ammunition against you. As yeah. I learned in my show this summer, when me and my good girlfriend Erica got into a, a heated discussion, um, and we had had a little booze, and in the middle of it, I just said, shut the fuck up. Because sometimes you just need to tell someone to shut the fuck up. And it's really not that big of a great offense that some of the ladies make it out to be. Hey, Jeffrey, shut the fuck up. (laughs) So we need to quickly touch on Atlanta. We cannot let this go by without talking about Atlanta. And, and, and And the Kim debacle. Kim is off the show. She walked out because her cervix is too small and she couldn't go on. Took off her mic and threw it. (laughs) She had her hissy fit. She pushed the camera away. She's done with the show because all the other women rearranged their schedules to go on vacation with her and then she didn't want to because something's different about her than everybody else. Uh, 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 uh. It was all about the Nene Lee pressure that Nene put on her at the table. You know, I think, I just think that Kim gets a little irritated carrying a baby, knowing that she can't have the sex that she really wants to. And remember, she's just done this whole massive, I've been evicted move. But, you know, it's it's a lot of stress. And she's thinking she needs her personal vacation with her husband so that she can have that before. And that's precedence before having a, you know, a bitch vacation with the girls. I kind of agree with Kim because, I mean, even in past episodes, I mean, when you have a giant black woman screaming and hanging (laughs) over your face like she's going to hit you, and now you're pregnant, and that big mouth nini is yapping in your face again, please, I'd be like, screw this, too. I am done with this. I mean, Nini's a great personality, but I am just... Clearly, I thought she, I thought you like loved her with your bloops and your boops and your bongs. I thought you're like totally. Bongs, where's the bong? Where's the bong? My favorite thing about. I was booping before her. My favorite thing about Kim is that, didn't I hear somewhere she says she's 33 years old? Yes. You're not too. Really claiming, she's claiming that? That's for real? She's 33, I'm 50. (laughs) I'm 16, so. Uh, Yeah, no, she's not 33. Oh, Oh, wait, we're drinking. (laughs) <laughs> oh, are we? <laughs> okay, good. We're good. Sorry, I didn't have a drink. Yeah, so the next port of Atlanta that the only thing was worth talking about are Kegel balls. Kegel what? balls and cock rings. I did, I did not understand what this is, Michelle. What is a Kegel ball? I'm, I'm a gay, and I don't understand. Maybe my fellow gays on the panel understand what the Kegel ball is. I didn't get it. I stay away from the vagina. I okay, missed well, this I, episode, so please uh, let okay. me know. Okay, just, I, I just want you to know that if you must wear protective gear like you would if you were watching Gallagher hit a uh, watermelon, <laughs> this is the time to put it on. Okay. okay so Kegel balls <laughs> are things that chicks who might be a little worn out in the area might want to use in order to strengthen their muscles and what they do is they pop those puppies up there like ping pong balls and hold on to them and what <laughs> and what wound up happening is that candy wound up going out with fedra to a fruit fruit store to buy some knickknacks of some sorts and she handed fedra a gift and it was the king of balls and fedra had no idea what this was and she when she was told what they were she's like yeah and i'm wearing them i have them in now and fred just like what like, she didn't even realize you can't see through. There's no binoculars to see through what they are. And then, of course, Fred was like, well, I just want my cock ring. So Candy's sitting there, standing there, moving around, and these things are so tight up in there. I hope to God that she didn't sneeze and have to readjust them off camera or anything. So, okay, I will stop. Gallagher's show is over. No, no, it's not over. It's not over. Because I just want to make sure I understand. So we're saying we take these balls... And then you shove them inside of you. Yeah. Why do you need the special balls? Can you use a ping pong, a grape? A, a, well, the kegels are attached with a string so you can put them on. Okay, the now, we, uh, yeah, now we A yeah. snowman? No? Uh, okay. uh, but uh, they might be individual ones as well. I think they actually came from a Chinese culture. And I only know of this because I watch either too much porn or somebody has been yapping in my ear about it for a little bit too long. <laughs> and, 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 at any rate, you know, Candy's got this whole sex thing that she's doing with all of her toys and her whole line. And this was the next thing that she was trying. 
you know, I wouldn't I do actually know. tell I do know. Shut the fuck up. So, uh, <laughs> it's, it's the theme of this show. <laughs> theme of the show. Shut the fuck up. And okay. next. No, I think you nailed it on the head, Michelle. Uh, I think hysterical. And for me, the best point was Phaedra uh, forgetting all of that and just wanting to know where her penis insert or ring was. Yeah, we we know what's under the prayer cloth, don't we? Yeah, her gay (laughs) husband. Um, So, so Jeffrey, speaking of Bravo shows, I know that you watch The Shaws of Sunset and you're trying to sell us all on it, but I know you also have a little connection to it, so fill us in on it. I did watch The Shaws of Sunset. Here's what happened is I have never seen an episode of Shaws of Sunset before. And somebody tweeted at me uh, like a red alert, like, hey, just to let you know, primetime Alex Stein 99 from the first episode of The Glass House is on Shaws of Sunset tonight. What what do you think of that, huh? And, (laughs) And my first reaction was, why are you watching the Shaws of Sunset? <laughs> I'd be more upset about that. So I tuned in. I tuned in and um, I watched. And, you know, it seemed just kind of um, you just sort of manufactured drama. The, the gay guy with the mustache uh, is an interesting character to me. Um, and there are some hot dudes on that show. Uh, but I kind of thought it was weird because in the background of this one big dinner scene, you know, we're at a dinner again. This is a common theme with these shows to have these fancy dinner parties, but it's supposed to be at this big hot restaurant in the city. And there's Alex Stein in the background eating, uh, this fancy meal. And it kind of made me wonder like just how real is everything going on there at that fancy restaurant that's so hot hey jeffrey shut the fuck up (laughs) so are are either of you two watching housewives of miami i'm not really sold on it either so and and i don't mean you two i mean you three because there's still three of us right Right. (laughs) how can you not be sold on miami there's already been fist fighting screaming drunkenness and, you know, the, all of the drama between Marisol and James, a.k.a. drag queen name, I don't know. Um, I mean. Elise, Elise, um, something. Elaine, Elaine. Elaine that's her. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. I'm Seinfeld? Oh, well, yeah. but she's eight feet tall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, fucking, I, I like it. Like, I, I like it, but it's. We have a Russian. We have a part that's going to get cut right. down. Cubing. <laughs> it's oh, we got it. We got it, Michelle. It's the United Nations. So it's called Miami. in Florida. Yeah. But Thanks. my thing hey, with Joanna, I was shocked about yep. how <laughs> I was shocked about how like immature she is. I saw her on Dancing with the Stars. I really liked her. I had an issue with her immaturity and all the stupid drinking and um, and a fight. The only time I liked her is in one episode, she dissed Joe Francis and Kim Kardashian in like 15 minutes. The only thing that I know about Miami is apparently, thanks to Will, who was on this show until we had a technical problem and then I lost all of our footage and had to reshoot it and Will wasn't available, but you guys don't really care about that. So, as Will pointed out, Mama Elsa apparently looks a lot like Adrian Maloof and he wanted me to do this. Boop. So, Will did point it out, Adrian and the crypt people, I don't know what her name is. Look, Elsa. Like, Elsa. But Elsa. But she might be having her own little show with Andy from, uh, I don't know. Well, Andy tweeted something. I, I gotta get my facts straight. This is a fucking... Oh, really? It would really fucking Shut help. Shut the fuck up. It would help. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, when you start tweeting us, then we'll start paying attention to your tweets, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we'll get our information Elsa. straight. Mm-hmm. Oh, I did see it. Let's just put it that way. I just have no idea who the other person is that he said he's working on a show with, with Elsa. So I got you half the information. Go okay. find that on your own. Yeah, people. <laughs> we are here bringing you half the information. Yeah, but it wasn't like we really wanted to talk about this show to begin with. Yeah. Just so figure, figure it out. Fun. <laughs> figure it out, bitches. <laughs> because we had nothing better to do. It's all this cat hair. <laughs> Holy crap. Stay away from the pussy. <laughs> well, let's get close to 
How about that for an ending? <laughs> you guys got to do your endings. I just did. Uh, but I talked over it and ruined it. <laughs> Stay away from the pussy. Was that better? <laughs> Now you have to say a bye and everyone to follow you. Bye! Stay away from the pussy! <laughs> bye, everyone. It was wonderful coming back this week. Thanks for having me, and I'll see you again soon. Okay, John. Send the lesbian. Send the lesbian. John, John, we're waiting oh. for your good bye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, anytime you're ready, we got all day. Thanks for watching. Shut the fuck up, Michelle. Shut the, you, fuck, you, 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 shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Thanks for watching, motherfuckers. Well, that about wraps up the show for this week. And don't forget to follow all of us on Twitter because every Sunday night I'll be live tweeting The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And then on Mondays I'll be live tweeting The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And some of the other people on the show should join me. But I'll definitely be there. Oh, and whenever you're watching this, if it's Wednesday, don't forget John Cho, LOL Work, comes on tonight. All right, that about wraps it up for this week. See you guys all next week. Bye for now. He recorded this show with Will, and then Scott, oh, oh, and then I got all tangled in my head. <laughs> <laughs> <And then> shut up! <laughs> <clears throat>